The River State Government has begun public imputes for the 2025 budget in a bid to ensure participatory budgeting and accountability. Commissioner for Budget and Economic Planning, Professor Peter Medi, said the valuable inputs of the budget process were critical for democracy and to shape the financial future of the state. Speaking at the 2025 pre-budget session, the commissioner said those waiting for the representation of the 800 billion Naira 2024 budget before any authority were dreaming, saying such a request is coming too late as the budget is already in the final quarter and has performed wonderfully well. This end, we have extended our invitation to all of you, stakeholders, including opinion leaders, community leaders, market women and other women, artisans and student body, at the academia and other leaders and civil society, as well as the private sector representative, to be part of this program. We are very optimistic that the 2025 appropriation will be a better representation of your aspiration and priorities and all you to effectively participate in this workshop as we look up to a better year 2025. As we chart our course towards 2025, our vision is anchored in four cardinal principles. Visionary leadership and strategic governance, economic innovation and fiscal sustainability, social justice and inclusive development, transformational infrastructure and environmental stewardship. And amid all the court cases regarding the budget presentation, the River State Government seems undeterred and will continue to implement the 2024 budget while also getting ready for the 2025 budget. Let's uh, cross live to Port Accord and uh, have this conversation with the Commissioner for Budget and Economic Planning, Professor Peter Merdi. Hello, good evening, uh, Prof, and thanks for joining us on uh, Newsnight. What are the indices uh, that have really made you to say your budget has performed wonderfully well when you've had the uh, four decisions from four different courts, uh, you know, uh, nullifying uh, the uh, sittings of those who passed this budget? Well, thank you for having me, and good evening for listeners and everybody. Let me also thank your crew for making this opportunity to, for me to be able to speak to this very critical issue. First and foremost, I'd like to say that uh, a budget is a process and not a document. If you think that the budget is a document, that is on the shelf of River State Government or on the shelf of any office that can be called of any time to be presented or not be presented, then you could be thinking in the direction of those who are targeting the budget. But the budget is a process. And because it is a process, once the budget has been signed into law, whether rightly or wrongly, it has been signed into law. And you know, River State is part of a federation. And no part of a federation can stop a federation from uh, governance. So federal government, state government, or local government, no federal government institutional agency can stop uh, a state, which is River State, from governance. Right. And, right. and the budget right. is a, a governance. You know, River State is part of a federation. And, and it is a, a governance. A so, and because it is part of governance, you will see a situation where no court or any institution in any other part of the Federation can stop governance in River State. So that's the first thing I want to say. And the second thing I want to say is that a budget has to do with intended expenditure for expected income. So when you have expected income, the income you are expecting for the fiscal year, and that framework also provides for 
intended expenditure. Now, I say that the budget is a process because once a budget has been signed into law, the first thing that you do is that you upload the budget that is signed into law into the State Action for Business en Enabling Reform, which is called the SABAS Framework. So the SABAS Framework has its headquarters in the United States of America, Washington, D.C. So, and once that has been uploaded, the whole world know that River State has uploaded their budget. And that upload will enable you now to do the first quarter. At the end of first quarter, you are expected to report on the performance of the budget. At the end of the second quarter, you are also expected to report on the second uh, uh, quarter of the budget. As we speak, as a department and as a ministry, we are currently working on the third quarter of the budget performance report, which must be uploaded on or before 12 midnight on 28th of October. What that means is that at the end of every quarter, 28 days is allowed because if you say you want to report on the 31st of of uh, September or the 30th of September as the case will be, it means the inflow for 30th and 28th sh shall not come in. So the Sabers allowed you another 28 days. What I'm saying is that by 12 midnight on the 28th of October, which is 28 days allowed into the new quarter, we shall have uploaded the performance of the, the third quarter of the 24 budget. So if that is the case, you can see now that a budget is the process. So if anybody has any political issue or any political disagreement in the state, I think targeting the budget is a wrong target that they have done. Because the budget is about the economy of River State, not the politics of River State. So the people who are aggrieved or the people who defected and feel now that, oh, they did not defect. After they have defected and sworn affidavit and are targeting the budget, I think they are actually daydreaming. So that's why I say the budget is a wrong target because the budget is a process. We have done first quarter, second quarter, and third quarter. And we have uploaded. If you download today, you, up, you will see the first quarter of River State budget, second quarter of River State budget, and the third quarter of River State budget. As of April 28th, we have downloaded, uploaded the first quarter. As of July 28th, we have uploaded the second quarter. So if anybody is telling anybody that, oh, a budget will be represented, a budget that has passed through first quarter performance report, second quarter performance report, and third quarter performance report will be represented. I think that's an exercise in futility. And I don't think anybody or any sensible person in this country will still think that a budget that are passed through these processes will be represented. So every uh, effort um, targeting professor, budget is an academic exercise. Pro professor Peter, I mean, uh, you're sounding uh, very, um, you know, inflammable here because cut processes, you know, should be obeyed uh, even when you go on appeal. I just told you that there are four court processes talking about the status of the River State House of Assembly is four greater than 27 is a question here. And the well, 27... I, I, I'm not here to discuss... I'm not here to discuss uh, legal issues that is in court, which will be contentious. But I'm talking about the economy of River State. Every patriotic citizen of River State should be able to look out for how we can deliver value to River's people and not to target a process that will crumble governance in River State. So if you talk about whether they are 27 or they are 23, I'm not here to talk about that one. But what I'm saying is that the 24 appropriation bill of River State have been signed into law. And no part of a federation can invalidate a law of another part of a federation. I'm not a lawyer, but I'm telling you that. So if it is in court or it's not in court, we are aware that a court process can be an academic exercise. For example, you cannot ask me now to go and sleep with my wife that is dead and already buried. So if my wife is dead and already buried, can any court ask me, ask me to go and sleep with her? That's an academic exercise. So what I'm saying is that anybody targeting the budget of 20, 
24 in any process or in any way or in any view. It's an academic exercise because yeah, the yeah. budget is a process. Professor the Manny, budget is, uh, listen now, the I, budget I think, is think, not a document. I think you're going around in circles because you've mentioned this before, right? Let's not uh, belabor the matter. Yes. Let me just go straight and ask you. Uh, you said the 2025 budget, you know, will be better than that of 2024. How would you say the 2024 budget is performed and what are the indices that you've put together to say 2025 will better that of 2024? As we speak today, we are in terms of performance, we've been able to do about 60 to 70 percent in terms of both revenue received and expenditure delivered to reverse people. And with that kind of situation, where I have the, the statistics that shows that the budget has performed well, especially in terms of the capital expenditure component of the budget, then I can confidently say so. Now, after we have been able to present the medium term expenditure framework of uh, the state, which has expressed six years behind of uh, River State to today, and are three years ahead for 2025, 2026, and 2027. We have seen that for 2025, we are having an appropriation bill that is about 50, uh, 40 to 40% to 40 higher than the appropriation bill of 2024. So if you have 40% higher, what that means is that River State is going to deliver value to River's people 40% higher than what they have done for 2024. So 2024 budget, 2025 budget from what we have done in the medium term expenditure framework, which is a focus, we are looking at about a figure of more than a trillion billion naira to be able to deliver value to rivers. So if you have a trillion uh, naira to deliver uh, to rivers people as against 800 billion that was done for 2024, then that's an expansionary budget. And you know, uh, we are dealing with uh, expenditure-based budget. So if it's expenditure-based budget, it means you are rolling the 2024 budget as against the 2025 targets and the focus. In that kind of situation, you will see that 2025 budget is going to perform more, more than the 2024 budget in terms of delivery of value to reverse people. And His Excellency, as part of his priority, has targeted the health sector so that we can be able to deal with infant and maternal mortality as well as malnutrition. We can be able to deal with the education sector so that more where uh, uh, out of school children in River State will be able to go back to school. We, every other thing we can do in terms of provision of teachers and other things will be done in 2025. And you are aware that His Excellency has increased oh. the civil servant bill for 85. Then we are able to target agriculture for, for food security. All this is able to inform you that the 2025 budget is going to be an improvement over 2024. So anybody still talking Thank about you. 2024 budget in River State is daydreaming. Okay, thank you so very much, uh, Professor Peter Medi. We we'll appreciate uh, uh, the you know uh, sagacity you've brought into this uh, budget conversation. Professor Peter Medi is the Commissioner for Budget and Economic uh, Planning, River State. <music>